Next, on Be More to Do More podcast, when you first become an entrepreneur, you don't have a roadmap at all. Right. So, like, entrepreneurship is like you wake up and you be like, what the what? What what, <laughs> what am I doing? You know what I mean? And you just start doing stuff. Right. And what I realized is that when you begin entrepreneurship and maybe in leadership, mm-hmm. There are some issues with having clarity. Mm. You know, I just want to talk about clarity today. Let's talk about it. When the last time you told somebody to keep their head up, cause you concerned about it. Stick and move, we can get it done. Call it unity, it ain't no way around it. Cultivating, we get motivation from the big guy. We don't play about it. Going hard for the game, showing love, bones, tolerate, hate around it. Sticking to keeping the real, we never keep up with the scope. Want to be more than do more than most. Want to be more than do more than most. This episode is brought to you by Lucilla's Cleaning Service, where your cleanliness is our business. Now, this company specializes in commercial and residential cleaning. So if you want a free quote, be sure to reach out to their website at www.lucillascleaningservice.com. What's happening, people? Welcome back to Be More to Do More episode podcast. I said episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can help you become the person you need to become to do the things you call to do. Your boy Tone in the building and Henry Allen Harton. The what? The third. Don't forget the three. You already know, bro. Hey. Back in the building. Back in the building. Hey, man, this is our test trial. Um, what am I doing right? Journal. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wasn't going to do this, bro. Okay. I just wanted to put it out here and see what the doobies think, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, nah, no, nah, man, we're doing this for a reason, man. Um, one of the things that I've learned, like with working with leaders and business owners and things like that, mm-hmm. is that the number one, and especially myself, man, like when you first become an entrepreneur, you don't have a roadmap at all. Right. So, like, on a job, you know, okay, I have to wake up at 6, get my coffee, get in the car at 7, you know, get to work by 7.30, 7.45. Mm-hmm. We start at 8. Then we finish our day, we go home. That's what it is. Right. Entrepreneurship is like you wake up and you be like, what the what? What what, <laughs> what am I doing? You know what I mean? And you just start doing stuff. Right. And what I realized is that when you begin entrepreneurship and maybe in leadership, mm-hmm. there are some issues with having clarity, mm. you know. So I just want to talk about clarity today. Um, not really clarity, but something that I've been practicing based upon something that I found in the scripture. Okay. Ooh, start with the scripture. Man, hold on. Let me find <laughs> Let me find a button. Scripture of the week. Scripture of the week <laughs> comes from Habakkuk. 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 We all know the scripture. And that's one of Drake friends, Habakkuk. Drake? I don't know. I don't know. He always talk about his name. It's like, <laughs> as soon as Baka get back on the road, remember that song? He anyway. said Habakkuk? He, uh, he said, I think it's just Baka. Baka? Ba- Baka, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I know. What's the other one? I don't know. 40? 40, yeah. yeah. I know 40. I don't, I don't know Habakkuk. I don't know Baka. I'm going to um, declare that holiday soon as the bucket get back on the road. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's okay, cool. That's what it is. You know how that can go. I'm glad you, I, I'm glad you, because I, <laughs> I was trying to find a scripture, man, but it's a baka. <laughs> we all know the scripture, though. Uh, when it comes to clarity, it says, write the vision down, make it plain. I'm going to just stop there. Okay. You know, um, we know the whole scripture, write the vision down, make it plain, so that it's Habakkuk 2 2. Uh, write the vision down, make it plain. No, we'll stop there. Reason why, okay. Here's the thing. When it comes to Hebrew text, right. Hebrew is a complex language. Hmm. And many people don't understand or know that. Um, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it or know it. So. I mean, I'm lear- I don't. I don't either. You know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, you know, we had the Strong's growing mm-hmm. up. You know, the big old book. Now they got apps for it. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Myron Golden. He put us on a, a dope app for the Strong's or whatever. But uh, he used to have these big old books, man, and it, and it tells you the definition for all the words in the Bible mm-hmm. in its original text. Um, but the thing is, man, Hebrew language, in the Hebrew language, one word can mean a variety of different things. 
uh, because a letter is actually a word in itself. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So one letter is a word. So a word is probably a sentence. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's a real complex um, language, you know. So in order to get the meat in the scripture, you have to kind of like break it down. Right. And one day, man, I was chilling, man. I think I was going through, um, you know, I got some some days I go through these um, bubble goods. Bubble guts? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm, sorry. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I could help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bubble guts. I'm childish. I'm childish. My bad. My bad. Nah, man. Uh, some days I go through days without clarity, mm. just knowing which direct, what direction to head in. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I have to just kind of like pray and get into my, you know, word and stuff like that. So like one day I was just in a funk man and just not knowing what to do where to go and I keep hearing write the vision down make it plain mm-hmm. you know that that scripture we all know it we all quote it right. you know it, it it's becoming cliche right yeah you know what I mean because we hear it so much so but a lot of times the cliche stuff be like the it stuff be that hitting. Be, yeah, it do like legit we just hear it so much that you know it after a while it kind of lose it, mm-hmm. its value yeah but I just recently went back, and this is something I've been practicing for, I want to say, when did I text you this? Um, it's probably about a month now. Mm. Um, so let's get into it. Okay. Write the vision down, make it plain. I just want to focus on one word, write. Just one word. Okay. Let's focus on that. Well, first of all, do, do you have visions, bro? Let, do I have visions? Yeah, let, let me see like if I'm talking. Like a raven? Ta- like that's a raven like visions like that I mean I don't know visions like do how, how do God speak to you when it comes when it comes yeah how do, how do God speak to you when it comes to your leadership roles and how how you run your house and dang that's a good question yeah how, how do God speak to you? how does God speak to me right I feel like it's more of like a a feeling like like almost like a nudge like hey you should do this right like and if I don't do it, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, that's a that's a really good question. I think it's. But I think I don't, if I'm not, uh, don't quote me on it. Right. But I feel like it's more of a, like a like a thought that kind of comes in my head. Right. And sometimes you just know, like, all right, this could be from God. Right. Could not be from God, but I feel like you feel like you just gotta do it though. Like it comes right. in your head. Like you feel like, man, if I don't do this, then something. I'm gonna say bad gonna happen, but like, like it's purposeful. It's purpose in me doing this this way. So, where did where did it take you? Do it end up working out? Or? Um, I think I've just learned to practice to be like so disciplined to it. Right. And I probably don't even keep up with it, but like if I'm feeling some type of if I'm feeling something, then I just I just do it and just try to keep myself in alignment. See, I like to talk about visions because um, when we talk about visions, we think about something that you see. Even in the spiritual sense, something mm-hmm. that like pictures and stuff like that. By the way, God speak to me in pictures and stuff, okay. right? But He don't speak to everybody like that. It could be a feeling, or it could be um, words. Mm-hmm. One word. I know some people get one word, mm-hmm. you know, and it and it goes on that. But it's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> 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 the manifest. <laughs> hey, that, that, hey, that's a um, what you call that? Double entendre. <laughs> I mean, because he, he do speak to us in many forms, but mm-hmm. vision means uh, either a sight mentally, a dream, revelation, oracle, or a vision. Um, there are many ways God speaks to us, yeah. you know, but the main thing to understand is that it is a revelation of something, mm-hmm. either a revelation of something that you should be doing or a revelation of something that will happen or just a revelation in general. So a, revel- a revelation is something that is being revealed. Yeah. And you just don't know how you know it. You just know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes I, I believe in like like listening to your inner voice. Right. I, I, do, I do like, it's, it's like if you hear this little, you know, small nudge to do something, you should. But I also, I think, and this is how I distinguish if it's God or if it's just me. Right. Because, you know, I don't know how everybody else is, but I talk to myself sometimes, right? Like, yeah, I just, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. be, you know, just, you know, so like, I think the, 
like whatever it is too, like like the outcome, like or what, right. like like the action, whatever the action is, it kind of tells me too, like, or is this from God or is this from, you know, is this my personal right. preference or is it, you know, my alter ego is it telling me to do something crazy? Right. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> you know, like you got to be able to, to distinguish. I think that helps me distinguish on if it's from God or if it's not. Right. By what it's like, is this is this is this bringing the value or is it? Like you know, like get him a dollar. Like get a person roll a dollar. Right. I don't know why. Just man, you know what? God told me to give you this dollar. Ain't they gonna, might you know. they be like, man, I, I just need a dollar to get up street so I can do this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You just never know. Sidebar. Go ahead. Are we gonna talk about how these people be like hustling with the panhandling? That's like, a whole. That's a whole business. It's a whole business. Uh, we should do it. <laughs> 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 like it's crazy like it's cra- so like I don't know I, I, I guess cuz like, I was riding in the car yesterday right and uh I was with one of my my automotive detailers and he was like I was looking at this guy he had a, a sign and we in Mac Town right so making right oh the, y'all got Mac Town yeah, oh, so cool he, he, had, he had this uh sign and it says like army vet Right. Something. So somebody that listens to this know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. But uh, he was like, um, my my um, my arm of detail was like, hey, you see that over there? See that bicycle over there? That's his bicycle. He he tra- he pedals over here like, and he puts away over there and like, basically like he's a, like he's scamming. Oh wow. And I'm like, oh. And this dude is like, he got a sign, but he like falling asleep on the side of the road. Right. Bro, if you're going to be on a job, be on a job. You bro. know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know, like, at least. You know, sleep on that. Put some effort, you know, put me, Give me some, 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 some doggy eyes or something. <laughs> something. Make, me, make me feel guilty for not giving to you. Right. right. Something. But, I don't know. I just, and I saw, like, I think I saw, I don't know if it was a, a video on Facebook, but I think I saw somebody else. Like, I was, me and, me and my wife were, it was one day we were driving mm-hmm. on, like, a Saturday, and we were leaving Walmart. Right, right. And um, we saw this kid with um, the mom. On the side of the road, maybe the dad was there too. I can't remember. Right. I'm on the side of the road, and I'm like, dang, that's sad. Right. And then, thirty minutes later, we go to Sam's, and we come out, and they outside of Sam's. <laughs> How'd y'all get here so fast? <laughs> and then what I noticed that they, it was like a minivan. Oh. Right next next to where they were parked at, and there's the same minivan that was parked near these folks. See, see, maybe God was talking to you though. What what I was what I was doing? That, that was confirmation. See, that's that's what I was getting at before we sidebar. Okay, because you were saying because <laughs> because uh, you were saying uh, you must not call me folks out. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you were saying that because uh, some people don't know if it's them or God talking to them. Mm. Even if you don't know, God will confirm. Mm. He will confirm in some way. You know, you might see some on TV. I think we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Or you might somebody might say something in a conversation you have nothing to do with. But you know this is what you've been hearing or seeing or whatever. Mm. However God has been revealing this thing to you, he is now confirming it to you in some other aspects. Mm -hmm. He's the media king, boy. I'm telling you. (laughs) God is the—I just thought about he's the media king. That's why I'm in media, bro. He's the Mm. media king, bro. Anyway, anyway. Off topic, man. Anyway, so a vision is pretty much revelation, something that was there— before you realized it, and God is opening your eyes to it, right? Okay. So I just want to get that out. Wait, of the way. something that was there mm-hmm. before you realized it, and God is just now opening it, opening your eyes to it. But ain't vision mean it hasn't happened yet? Nah, not in the physical sense. Oh, okay. But it's always been there. Okay. All right. I'm just curious. Yeah, spiritual. See that? See that? That those people are. I'm through off right now. But <laughs> Revelation, revealing. See God. Uh, see, see bars, what, <laughs> bars. <laughs> <laughs> see, people don't understand. I even think about that. Okay. When we talk about manifestation and all that, like, like speak it and it will come to pass. You can't speak nothing that doesn't exist. Hmm. It, it, it always exists. You know. The will of God has been around before we've been here. Mm-hmm. You know, it 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 incomp- that not encompasses, but it it's out of time. Like you know, God is he's a eternal God, right? So His will is eternal. Like it's always there. It's always right. been here. Now, when we are informed of it, then that's revelation. 
hmm. is being revealed to us. You know, he's opening the curtains. Here's my will, my plan for your life. It always been here before you was here. He told. So is that like? Uh, is that like? Uh, I hate to. I hate to go off topic, but nah, go ahead, I go gotta ahead. go there. I just gotta ask. Go there. So you know how like you got the spirit world and like do you feel like are right, in this room right now that could be like a ghost watching us? Uh, or is, is that like something totally different or is that I you know think, like we just can't see them but they like I think that's a conversation. I <laughs> I think cause, because we we try we try so hard to box it in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that is spiritual. You can't box it in, especially mm-hmm. with a carnal mind. Or, you know, a mind that's physical. Mm-hmm. You know, spiritual is something that it surpasses what tangible things. Spiritual is what the tangible things is formed from. Doobies! This is Be More to Do More Podcast. And we have some exciting news for you today. Listen, we're coming up on one year of Be More to Do More Podcast, and we really appreciate you all for rocking with our content. But listen, y'all don't want to miss this opportunity right here. Yes, sir. We've launched an email subscription list where you'll get bonus episodes, get behind the scenes information, as well as discounts on all merchandise and events. Best part about it, it's free. It's free. This is the chance to dive deeper into conversations you love. Yes, sir. So hit that subscribe button right now and join our incredible community. Let's go. Let's go. Like this board here, this book here. How long we been talking about this, bro? Hmm. What three months, six months? Bro, been longer than that. We almost at the end of the year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We've been talking about this for so long. So it, it's been a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now it's starting to manifest. What y'all think about this? You know. Anyway, what am I doing right? Leadership journal. Yeah, yeah. We've been talking. We've been talking about this forever. It's been a vision. It's been an idea. It's spiritual. I'm going to read it. Read, read the back of it so people can understand what exactly it is. Nah, it's going to take too long. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Yeah. But, um, so, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the spirit. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know we talk about, uh, how, like, just skip through it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I ain't reading all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's me, by the way. You remember Jarvis was like, you know how you put something on a flyer, but you still ask the person? Right, I, right. That's be all day. What? <laughs> hey, what time it start? <laughs> Why is it on the flyer? <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. But yeah, man, so like, I just wanted to get that out of the way. When, when God say, write the vision down, make it plain, mm-hmm. uh, there are multiple ways that God gives you revelation. Let's just start there. But I want to focus in. Dang, we spent 16 minutes on vision. Okay. I want to focus <laughs> in. I like that, man. I mean, <laughs> you know, we're getting somewhere. I want to focus in on the word right. What 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 do you think right means? Uh, I, don't, I don't got no deep answer. So uh, I was just curious because right it means just to write, write it down right, like <laughs> i don't know I, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to give you a demon of me let me in, let me let me uh let me channel my inner tone <laughs> <laughs> my right. dad my dad used to say i'm too deep you got the w and the r <laughs> and then the i-t-e so when you write you write it you break it <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so nah, we, okay. Nah, nah. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. No, nah, you just write it. You just, you, just, uh, you um, I don't know, bring it to life in a sense. So, yeah, I mean, it is that. It is exactly that. But when, 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 we, when we hear write it down, we just skip over the word because we think we should just write, right? Mm-hmm. But I was like, back then, they ain't had no pencils. <laughs> I be thinking they about had, that They had a number two pencil. <laughs> they had no number two pencil. They had sticks, they, bro. They had stones, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I had to really, really get curious. Like, Lord, what, what are you talking about writing? Like, you know, yeah. I know I knew it was some meat there. So I'm like, back then, they writing. They wasn't writing like that. You know, it was engraving. So to break down the word write in Hebrew... Don't get me the line to, to pronounce how to say this name um, or what it means in Hebrew. But I'm going to give you uh, four descriptive words. Maybe we can just talk on the, you know, these four words, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, just chat, have a little powwow. Um, write in Hebrew in this particular scripture means to describe, inscribe, prescribe, and subscribe. 
first of all, I need a different. I need a dictionary because I, I don't you. know what. Oh, you. but okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, he put prepared. I he got prepared. you. I told you, I've been I've been practicing this for uh, a month now. When did I? When did mm. I this? Yeah, about a month now. Um, so write the vision down. Write to describe. Okay. So the first thing you do, first thing the, the the word is telling you to do is to put put words with the feeling mm-hmm. or what you're seeing or mm-hmm. what you're hearing. To like try a YouTube description. To <laughs> 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 is, that not, is that not it? Is that ain't it? I mean, <laughs> you know, describe, right? Description, I mean, describe. Is that, is that it's not the same thing? Let me. Okay, let me say it like this: to represent <laughs> or give an account in words. So to say it out loud. Okay. So you have to put words with what you're hearing and what you're seeing, or what you. How does that work, by the way? Huh? How do you? How does? How does it work to where you can? Use words to describe a word. You know, it's kind of, and it's kind of crazy. Like, kind of backwards. If you think about it, like I'm gonna use all these other words to describe a word. Right. Uh, I mean, I guess that is interesting. But I guess it all comes with feeling too, right? Or yeah, but you have to use words to describe it, though. Yeah. How do you do that? So when God is telling you to go, how, how do you explain that? Hmm. Have He told you anything in, in leadership or shown you something in in your role in leadership that you? you know, hmm. I don't know, man. I think I, I'm always like thinking about the next step, right? And like I'd be, so, I'm telling, I'd be so far ahead of the curve, mm-hmm. and and I think that's what like allows us to be a little more successful because like I'm able to see, and I don't know, if the, I don't know if this is necessarily. I think God is giving me the the Ooh, God uh, is giving you, Go yeah, ahead. like yeah. I think God is giving me the ability to like understand trends. Okay. And understand, like, okay, okay, like, for example, like, and I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Um, I'm looking at, you know, this is maybe six months, six months ago. Let's call it six months ago. And, uh, yeah, it was about, it was, yeah, probably a little bit longer than that. Probably about nine months ago, actually. And I'm looking at, like, okay, how are, where our performance is at. Right. And nobody's having a conversation with me, but I'm like, this ain't. Like this ain't hitting on nothing. Like, and what I realized is that our expenses mm. were going up mm. because during COVID, we bought you know, um, like you know, manufacturers stopped making um, vehicles of the chips shortage and all that stuff. Right. And I'm realizing that um, as we kind of gotten out of COVID and we bought new cars. Right. Our depreciation is rising, mm. so when you, and when you look at depreciation, you know, you know, depreciation is you know the value that a car loses at they drive off the lot, pretty much, right, consistently, right. right. So because we had all these older cars in our in our in our fleet, as we continue to clean it out, we had this rising cost right. that nobody was talking about. Mm. So I'm like, oh shoot, it's about to get dicey out here. And we got to make sure we got to figure out how to gain more revenue on the vehicles we have, because if we don't six months from now, Mm -hmm. we're going to be in trouble. You said you realized. How did you realize that it just came to you? I looked at the trends and it just came to you. Well, I just I mean, it's math. (laughs) So you did math. Okay, two to track two. Well, like, okay, I saw, I, I looked at, compared it to where we were last year. Right. Looking at this, that that month, and looking at, you know, the, where we were over the last few months. Oh, I was able to determine, you. yeah, okay. I, was, I was able to determine that. Okay. This is here to stay. So we need to figure out how to make more money because our costs are going up. What'd you figure out? What'd you do? We made more money. Uh, so, how? Um, Strategy. Who gave, you the tra- who, gave you, who gave you the strategy? Go! No, that's it. That's why I'm trying to get to. Well, I'm trying to get to where God is. Where, where's God? I was here? gonna say I don't know. Like I, I don't. Like I don't. I don't. I don't know what the answer is. But like, yeah. But you know, it's just again. I think that's just like. I think that's the gift, right? Like I think that's the gift of like. I still God given. Been yeah. Like yeah. I think that's the gift of like understanding. Like I know it ain't me. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I ain't, I'm not that good. See, uh, that, see that's what I want to get to that, too, because a lot of us think we're that good. Yeah, I ain't that good. Yeah, yeah. And me, too. Like, and then I'll try to do it again. I'm like, nah, that wasn't me. <laughs> 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 that that would definitely wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it's just like when things come to, like you say, I realized. Mm-hmm. Realize is a form of manifestation. It it was there already, but it right. but God just opened your eyes to it. Right. You know what I mean? So when we say write it down or describe, meaning put words that will represent what you're feeling or what you're seeing, mm-hmm. just kind of say it out. Cause you, you're kind of giving a descriptive, um, a descriptive um, sentence or a descriptive sum- summary of what you're seeing. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I think me and my brother we was having this conversation. He was like, "Man, God showed me something, man." I, I'm like, "Bro, no, nah, bro, explain it." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because now I understand that when God give you a feeling mm. and he give you a revelation, explain. You got to figure out how to put those in words. Like you, you have to figure out how to put that feeling in words because I get what you're saying, though. I get what right. you're saying with that because, like, if you just ignore it or try to like push it to the side, that could be your breakthrough. Yeah, like that could be the reason why you you get to your next level. Right. Just by like figuring out how to express that because that may be the message that and your you, team needs to hear. And you say figure out how to express it because yeah. that's the thing. Because God's going, He's going to give it to you. Yeah. But just finding the words and figuring yeah, you out. Gotta how, you, got to, oh, <laughs> you gotta decode it. You got. You got to decode it. Oh man, it's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> hey man, hey, I like that, bro. I got chills. So yeah, you just got to find the words to to explain it. What they they said something about teaching too. Like when you learn something and then you teach somebody else, you learn it too or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it shows you that once we put things in words and express those things and say those things out loud, we're actually teaching ourselves. Yeah. So we're decoding ourselves and we're building ourselves up with his codes. Mm. I sound like so nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you in your bag right now. I'm in my bag. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Scripture of the week. <laughs> God is faithful, boy. Okay, so one word for the uh, right is uh, describe. The second word is to inscribe. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It means to write. <laughs> <laughs> it it does. It meant to write. To write. So what? Oh, that's like the act of writing. That's like the, the act of writing it down. Oh, okay. So it it goes deeper than just. So okay. So describing it is like putting it, putting in it words. to words, mm-hmm. and then inscribing is like all right, let's. Write it Take down. Take this into like so somebody else can see this now. Write it down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Write hey, it look down. Look at you, man. I, you see, know, I see what you're doing. You see, I see what you're doing. Hey, you see what That's why you're professional, man. Hey, I man, see but journal, journalism is important, bro. Like, I've been doing it for what's 2007 years now. Mm. Bro, I'm telling you, like, if you want clarity, this is what you do. You journal. What advice do you have? Because I, I know I should be journaling more. Right. More like how what like I feel like it'll be a benefit for me to journal more to journal I guess period really yeah it would and it's almost like posting even on social media like posting too like oh that's a big difference there I don't be feeling like it I feel you bro hey <laughs> but but jur- but no jur- journaling is is therapeutic um. I know when I'm having like, or just managing or dealing with some type of anxiety, mm-hmm. I just write it out, and writing out my feelings because in your mind it seems so grand, yeah, it seems like a lot, yeah. But when you write it out, it's like it's that simple, right? You know, you know, you're right though, because I, th- I think about it like cause I, I think about like okay, all the things I got to get done, right? Like man, I got to do this, got to do that, got to do this, got to do that, got to do that, got to do that, got three things on your list, yeah. <laughs> you know, you put, like, okay, I'm write it out. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Like, no, I gotta, it gotta be more than this. See, that happened to me yesterday. It gotta be more than this. That happened to me yesterday. I had, I had a long list in my mind. It was long, right? So I was like, you know what? Let me write this because I got a, you know, a business. So we're still working on this. So I got a business journal and a personal journal. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me just write down a list of things I need to do. It was only seven things, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, out like, oh, this is gonna take up. Dang, I'm, I'm stressing, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I had to write it down. You know, and you know, it's writing it down is detrimental, especially if you have goals. Mm. You have to write 
the vision down. You have to write it down. So put words with it, write it down. Um, now, for all you Gen Zs out there, <laughs> got to talk to the younger crowd if they're listening. Because, you know, well, I'll just put it in my notes on my phone, on my iPhone. Right. You know, I just read the study, man. Uh, I want to get into it a little bit. You mind? I do mind, actually. Okay. No, I'll just well, play. We, we, <laughs> we won't do the study. <laughs> I'll man, just play. I'll just you know, play. No, what's the uh, study say, though? Henry Harden the third. <laughs> don't forget the three. Say he mind. So it says our four reasons writing things down on paper still reigns supreme. This is from Psychology Today. Mm. And it gives four reasons. Uh, one reason, um, a recent side-by-side comparison of analog paper notebook versus mobile digital devices. First of all, they call it analog paper. Bro, you know they be using big they words. Just, they, like, come on. Like, they could just say a piece of paper. They got to sound smart. Man. You know, analog paper. Analog paper. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about radio waves now. Yeah, analog. yeah. Anyway, it, keep going. It says, uses FMRI neuroimaging to identify specific brain activities differences uh, during memory retrieval um, it says analog notebook use activates use activates multiple brain see that's why I hate smart people man God, they just <laughs> too smart for that smart like, people. let me just go back let me go down to where it makes sense right <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate no, let me get I don't hate smart people no, just, just chill out there man cause you know they'll try to counsel us bro um it says notebook paper versus mobile devices uh led by a team of researchers at the University of Tokyo was published on March 19th in the Peer Review Journal Frontier. Um, I'm going to skim through this, skim through this. Yeah, I, about to say, I, I knew the skim was going to start skim. soon. <laughs> 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 okay, jotting things down on paper is faster. Handwritten notes tends to be more accurate and have personalized flares. Handwriting in a notebook triggers more robust brain activity. Hmm. And writing by hand is associated with stronger neural encoding and memorable retrieval. Mm-hmm. So you are able to retrieve things more by writing them down versus putting them in your notes on your iPhone. So the Gen Zs can do it. It's just not as effective. It's not as it's not as effective. Not at all. Um, I read something else. It was in Forbes. It says that uh, because when you're on your phone, you're used to the your brain is used to the scroll up and uh, up and down on your phone. Mm-hmm. But if you write it down, your brain takes a, like a snapshot of the paper hmm. have you noticed like when you write something down on paper you can close your eyes and still see it <laughs> yeah that type of thing yeah versus looking at something and you close your eyes you can't see what's next because you're scrolling in your notes so uh, try it i just i'm at my head i'm because i try it because i do i put i put my lyrics in my phone uh-huh and i can see i can't see it as clearly Right. But I also don't know what it would like if I write it wrote down. it down. Write it down in your own handwriting on a piece of per- paper. Huh. Think about that. It's like huh? it's like screenshotting with your mind, bro. It's like dope. That's why writing it down is so important. Gen Z. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just kidding. You, you people with Gen Z, people with smart people today, man. Just, hey man, we we just, want all the smoke today, man. Yeah. People want to do it. Well. Correction what tone wants all the smoke today. <laughs> <laughs> Did not nah, cancel nah, nah. me. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, man. Nah, real talk, real talk. Nah, I'm just, I'm just giving. I got your back, man. Yeah, because Gen, you know, Gen Z I, is I, like I get on there and get a Twitter and get a Twitter rant going on. <laughs> Gen Z is like little brother, little sister. You yeah. Know? So we, you know, hey. You can use your phone, mm-hmm. but if you want to treat, retrieve something, write it down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So so the first one is describe, putting words with the vision of whatever God is revealing. The second one is write it down. And the third one is, is, is <laughs> prescribe, prescribe. So pre it's means correct. before. Scribe. And scribe means write. Oh no, it's pre- prescribed. Like, and it's like a prescription. Yeah, yeah, prescription. Well, I was thinking too deep into that word at first. <laughs> <laughs> like prescribe. Like a doctor prescribe something to you. So that, mean, what is, so that means you got to buy into it. What does that mean? Well, buy into it. And when a doctor prescribes something, like medicine. What I'm thinking about. So I'm, I'm thinking about subscribe. 
Oh, okay. Now we're getting there. Oh, was that in there? That's the last one. That was the last one. Yeah. So when you prescribe, uh -huh. the definition is to lay down as a guide or directions or rules of action to ordain. Oh. So when you get a vision, you explain it. You you find the words. Right. You conjure up the words. Right. For the vision. Mm -hmm. Write it down, and you prescribe. You make it a rule, or in other words. Other words, what we will say, what word we use when we talk about intentionality? Purpose. Well, we make it a part of our routine. Mm, or character. You, 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 or, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, habit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You make it a habit. Well, uh, you make it you make it a rule over your life, or whatever area God is revealing something in. Like if He's, <sighs> ah, what's the easy way to explain this? Say it one more time. So the, prescribe the, uh, what, no, the, no, no. the definition. De describe it one more time, so we can put your words into inscribe. So we can prescribe. Inscribe and prescribe. prescribe means to lay down as a guide, direction, or rule of action. So it's a rule of action. So this thing is gonna govern me now. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That's the way. That's that's the way I want to put it. Mm, it's gonna govern me. Yeah. So God give you a vision. Okay. You conjure up the words. You find the words to express that vision. You write it down. Now it's my God. My guide. I'm about to say, it's not like you say God. God, yeah. My guide. Over the devil worship. Why you say I need to? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't say he's his own guy. I'm a drifter. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, nah, man. Chris Ann said I need to express my, I mean, uh, pronounce my words. A guide. It becomes your guide. Mm -hmm. Like, your rule of... Or like shout out to our wives for making us better. Man, what? You know what I'm saying? They, they don't let us slide for nothing. No, nah, they, they do. They watch and they like, play. Oh, my goodness. They tell me what well, tell me what I'm doing right. Yeah. And they tell me what I'm doing wrong. Like, you yeah. need to pray. So I've been working on talking slowly. Yeah. And pronouncing my words. Yeah. So, yeah. That's might be on my head, but. For real? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> nah, I like it, though. I yeah, like yeah, it. yeah. It, it makes you better, man. Yeah. But so, so. It's your rule of action. Mm -hmm. That should make sense to you, man, Mr. Action Man. I mean, I'm a, you know about that action. By that action, my boy, he will pull up on you, boy. Um, it's your rule of God. Right. It, that's a rule, rule of action. So once you wrote it down, now it's your action plan. Or I like the word, I like the word guide or direction. Mm -hmm. And reason being, we talked about this on um, JTNS, because sometimes you would, get a vision, you will find the words to say, you will write it down. But there are moments where you may get in your emotions or you may get frustrated or even dealing with anxiety and you get lost. Where am I supposed to go? You know, it may be two weeks from now that guy has given you this vision and you just lost sense of where you should go. Mm -hmm. You can always go back to the right. vision that you wrote down and it, it becomes your guide now, your guide. Guy, mm -hmm. it becomes your direct. You know, it gives you direction. Now. You know, even in what you're saying, it makes me realize again on how much like we're put on this earth to help people. Yeah, like because think about it, right? Mm -hmm. God gave you the feeling, right? Why do you have to write it down, and why do you have to turn it into a rule? Like, why do you have to turn it into a rule? Like, why? Oh, it's not for you. No. Well, well, kind. I mean, yes, yeah, for you, like, like, but if it was only about you, we could stop it. Describe, yeah, we can, we can, we could stop right there because it could just be. But the fact that you got to turn it into a rule, right, and like, and write it down, like that tells me that you it's it's about it's some legacy there. It's about helping the next person so they can take that same principle or same whatever it is right and apply it and get the results that you got out of your life I could have put see man I wish I had my clap button it's on the other one though oh <laughs> uh, yay 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 McDonald's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but um that's true I could have put this in an easy, e easier format mm -hmm. so you get a vision mm -hmm. you express the vision you write it down and you make it an action. So God is telling you, get the vision, find the words to 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 say the words, mm -hmm. 
write it down so that you can mentally get it and then now physically with your body put into motion. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So like now you are and here's here here's what I was thinking when you were saying that is that it's not for you, but it's for you. Right. But it's not for you. Right. I think we talked about this on the last podcast. When God gives you something, it is from him. Mm. Once you mentally get it, it's yours mentally. But once you act on it, it's here. It's in your heart. So now it's a part of you. So now God DNA is in your DNA because, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. So now it's a part of you. So now I'm not, yeah, I can say this. So now you're God-like. Mm. You're not a God, you, you know. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus said it now. He said, it's not written in your law. I said that ye are God. Send John. Go look it up. But now you're God-like because God is giving you something. And now you're writing it down. You're expressing it. Yeah. You're writing it down. And you putting it into action. So it becomes a part of you. So even when you leave here, what your life becomes his message from what he's giving you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He gave you a message. Now your life becomes the message. Mm-hmm. And when you leave here, the message is still here through your life. Yeah, that's real because I mean I think I think even like I think back to my my dad and my grandfather, right? Like right. there's things that they were about like I, I guarantee part of the reason why well I, I know the reason why I don't cuss right for my dad. Man, that's what's like. My dad didn't cuss as an adult. Like he didn't. He Word. Didn't, yeah, he didn't cuss. That's like dope. So that I would have never even gotten the idea. Right. If you know he, if he didn't do that, right. So right, right. Um, or even like you know, there's certain things that like foundationally, um, like being a that's like been a good man. Right. Right. And being like a good father makes sense. You know. You know. That's debatable with my wife right now, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, seriously though. But like, like being a good man and being a good father. Like, like if my grandfather didn't instill that into my dad, and like, it's generation. Yeah, it's generational. It's generational. Like, like that's dope. They able to li- that lives on because you know if their grand their grandchildren and their children. Like we, that's crazy. Dang, that's crazy, bro. And. You don't have to struggle with that as much as the next man. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like second nature. Yeah, it, it's just what it's, it is. It's just what it is. Because your father decided, or your grandfather decided yeah. to, to, hey, let me have some discipline here. Right. You know what I mean? And just do what the Lord told me to do, and I'm going to walk this out the rest of my life. And they, you know, his son said, oh, it's, okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And you see, it's just second. It's just what it is. Yeah. It's a part of your it, is your your perspective your pra- your paradigm yeah. your paradigm so little Hank he's gonna be like you know hopefully, you know <laughs> <what I mean? laughs> hopefully. but you know like again like it's again being faithful right like right. being being a faithful husband like right. that stuff is like it's it's all a part of that so they got the vision right and here we are two Man. generations later see see <laughs> what they do <laughs> they wrote it down they put it in words. Then they wrote it down. Then they made it a rule of action yeah. to govern their lives. Mm-hmm. The last one is subscribe. So we have describe, represent or give an account in words, inscribe to write it down, engrave. Another thing about inscribe, don't do it with pencil. You know, don't do it with something that's permanent. Mm-hmm. Engrave is something that you can't erase. Mm-hmm. You can't go back on it. You know right. what I mean? Uh, and then you got prescribe, lay down as a guide, direction, or rule of action. Uh, let it govern your life. Let it be that thing that when you are in a rut or you can't think your way through anything, mm-hmm. you know, like, I know I deal with those a lot. Go back to what you've written down and let that be your direction. It may not, at the beginning, I remember when I first begin this intentional walk of mm-hmm. purpose. It was always based on how I feel. Ah, I'm not feeling that right now. But I was feeling it then, but I'm not feeling it now. So that may that must not be it. Right. Oh, uh, what's supposed <laughs> to govern me, right? Right. But no, that's where discipline comes in. <laughs> yeah. You know, you go back and you put yourself back on course based upon what you wrote down. What did you learn that from though? Because a lot of there's a lot of people that just be like, you know what, this don't feel good anymore. That means it's not. That means it can't be. You know, some some people use that as an excuse for not, for not like going it, or not staying on the right path. Well, yeah. Like, oh, it doesn't feel. It doesn't feel true to me anymore. Yeah. So I'm not doing that. 
Well, lack of discipline. And, you know, it. You, do you feel like people should do what they don't want to do? Do what they don't want to do? Mm-hmm. I mean, they do it anyway. Who want to wake up at 6 to go to work to a job they hate? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To work eight hours a day. But, you know, that's, that's sometimes that's the narrative, though, right? And, like, right. Today's, in today's culture, is like, you know, you shouldn't make kids <laughs> do what they don't want to do. Uh, Who's see that's social? I'm gonna get into my thought leadership bag. I'm gonna Go get into ahead, my baby. thought Go leadership ahead, bag because baby. well, we're letting social media govern the way we live our lives. Yeah, I disagree a hundred percent. Yeah, with a lot of the stuff they say on social media. Yeah, and I'm not governing my household based upon <laughs> social media. So any nursery or daycare that has a problem with that, oh well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because in my house, yeah. we're going to do things the god the godly way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, discipline is going to be a big part of my son's life. Because what people don't know is when it comes to anything dealing with motivation, right? When you mm-hmm. hear a motivational story, all it is is somebody decided to be disciplined right. through hardship. Right. That's all motivation is. Right. Why don't you be motivation to somebody else and do things you don't want to do? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And just stick it through. Like, it, that's just what it is. So I'm going to teach my son discipline. We're not going to go with that narrative, you know, and that's mm-hmm. what it is. Oh, you seem passionate about that. I'm real passionate about that. Yeah. Cause you ain't playing either, boy. Because No, nah, because <laughs> the thing is that, like... I found this out later in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And my son, I want my son to get it now. Like, I used to despise the word discipline, mm. you know, and, and and not, it wasn't nothing that was obvious. It was just something that it, it sparked, like, ugh, discipline. You know what I mean? Like, right. Because, like, <laughs> Ew, remember, I t- remember I told you I had a problem with leadership in the, back in the day. Right. But I'm learning that if you think about anything or any motivational story or anybody who succeeded and overcame, it all, it all has to do with discipline. And you can't be intentional if you're not disciplined. Mm. It's, you just can't. And if you're not intentional, then you're drifting. If you're drifting, then you're just letting life happen to you. Mm-hmm. You know That's what discipline is. Discipline is resistance. You know? Mm. So, yeah, my son going to learn that. Now, what, what were we, man? We just started talking about this one. Um, we were on number four. Oh. <laughs> I got you. I appreciate it. I got you. But anyway, um, yeah, but going back to the vision, you know, mm-hmm. even if you don't feel it, you're not feeling like it, the vision is there to govern you, and govern breeds discipline. So, yeah. Number four is subscribe. Subscribe. Anybody got Netflix? <laughs> That's the first thing I think about when I hear subscribe. Um, subscribe means to arrange to receive something regularly, typically a publication by paying in advance. Hey, by the way, my doobies, doobies. my doobies, if you have not already, hit the subscribe button. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe. subscribe. Because you need this on the regular. You need somebody else in your ear. To be talking to you every single week. Yeah, man. Because really, every day, I think we post something just about every day. Yeah, yeah, we do. And we we uh, everywhere. I yeah, know you be saying. Yeah. yeah. So. Subscribe. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the definition is arranged to receive something regularly, mm-hmm. typically a publication by paying in advance. And another one is express or feel agreement with an ideal or proposal. What I, what I got out of this is... Um, just make some, making something a habit, you know. Uh-huh. Subscribe, you know, okay. subscribing to something. Yeah. So you make because oh, because you, know, you can you can get the vision, and you can, you know, you can get the vision and you can write it down. And you can set these rules, but if you don't truly believe it, yeah. then you ain't gonna do it. You got to subscribe to it. Mm. It got to be something that you you habitually practice every mm. day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, even when I'm in a rut, nah, I'm gonna go back to this journal. Okay, what what guy say? Okay, cool. All right, let me practice this again. So, you just gotta make it. You gotta subscribe to it. And this is why, man. I'm telling you, man. Like, I gotta get better at this too. I don't read, one. I don't read my Bible enough. Right. But when you read, like, your goal should not be to read all these different chapters. Oh, I'm gonna read the whole Bible in a year. That's cool and all that. Yeah. But like if you're not getting these like how many people have heard this? 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I've never heard, I mean, if you've heard the scripture before, write it down, make it plain. Right. I have never heard somebody break down right in this way. Yeah, just one word. Like, one word means four different things, and it's like a whole message. Yeah, and one word. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But the Bible even... It's and, like a little mini sermon, huh? I guess. Yeah, you know. hmm. that's what it is. It, even in the, the whole the whole book, the whole Old Testament, like... I see so many TikToks that breaks down the Hebrew word, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And because the message is there. And you see Jesus in the Old Testament. It's crazy. It's weird. Y'all go to TikTok, you know, change the algorithm, man, and, you know, follow some of these Christians, and uh, Christian influencers, you know, you'll see it. But um, it's so much meat in the Bible if you truly want to study it or mm-hmm. learn it. If you take it at faith, faith value, that's what you're going to get. Right. You know, um, Jesus said, um, um, he that have an ear to hear, let him hear, you know. And what I gathered from that is that you're going to be at the level at with, you're going to be at the level at with which what you hear. That, that put too many W's in there. <laughs> <laughs> what you hear is going to be based on what level you're going to be at. Right. You know, and if you just want to take it for face value and just, this is where you're going to be. But me, man, I just yearn to go deeper. Mm. You know, I just want to, God, what is on your mind? Like, mm. what are you thinking, why did you write this? What's on your mind? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I, I want to know why you write this and, you know, what what can we get from this? Mm-hmm. You know, and just that one word. I haven't went into the other scripture. <laughs> like, it's a whole thing. You feel me? So, yeah. like, I'm, I I stopped there. Like, all right, Lord, we're going to practice this, man. And yeah. Maybe in, in the next 20 years, we'll go to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> so, all my leaders out there. Leaders! All my leaders, right? Again, I think in the previous episode that we talked about um, being, like, bringing the culture into... Corporate. Corporate, mm-hmm. right? Um... But, you know, you got to your vision, your vision for whatever you see, whatever you're you're implementing. This is what it looks like. You have to right. you have to follow these four steps to be able to get your vision to your team and make sure that you have a, a way that um, that you can. I don't know. Chief success because. You got to you got to you got to be close right to the word. You got to be close to to That's God, true. right? You got to be able to hear him, right? Whatever that looks like, that might be through you know, an inner voice, that might be through something else, I don't know, but whatever it is, you got to see that. Or through be more to do more. Right? <laughs> maybe maybe he's talking to you right now like, "Man, what kind of vision I you know, what kind of what do I need to do right?" And then right. you got to you got to inscribe it, right? You got to Write it down. Mm-hmm. Right? You got to write it down. Hold on. Describe, inscribe, right? Prescribe, subscribe. And when you write it down, <laughs> when you write it down, you got to you gotta make it into a principle. Mm-hmm. This is what we're going to do, right? If, if we, for me, it was, we got to get some more revenue. <laughs> but what I had to do, though, and I think it's the, it's the most important piece, oh. you got to believe it. You got to believe it. Because if you don't believe you it, subscribe to there's it. no way. You got to subscribe, right? Yep. There's no way that you're going to get your your team to believe it. Right, right. It's just reality. That's the reality, bro. Describe, inscribe, prescribe, subscribe. I like it. Love it, man. We're going to figure this thing out. Yeah. What else you got? I ain't got nothing. Well, I got a lyric. Oh, man. What? No. Oh, we got a, oh, come on now. Come on oh, let's now. Let's go. We come got on. some more meat, bro. Go. I'm excited. I got a lyric. Let's I got go. a lyric. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to get through it quick because we gonna be re- we reaching the end of it. Nah, man. I'm, I'm here. Um, here for it. Lyric. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. <laughs> there we go. Lyric of the week. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> lyric of the week. Comes from Tech. I guess he's like a newer artist. I think from like Louisiana. You talking about Tech? Tech? Who rap fast? Tech? Nah, I don't think that's nah. Okay, it's TEC. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe I feel like it's Tech. Oh, not Tech Nine. Nah, I'm tripping. No, he's my Tech Nine. Yeah, yeah not okay. Tech Nine. Go ahead. Nah. Go ahead. Says still shining, even though I'm recording in the dark. I just tell him all my thoughts, and it turned into art. Oh, and I'm telling you guys, oh. there's gonna be some people. Oh, there's gonna be some people 
that you don't even know, but they're going to look at what you created and it's going to be like a masterpiece to that person. Wow. But it's your truth. Wow. And you deserve to show your sun, your, I guess your shine mm. through that art. That's true. That's it. Bro, you want to end it on that? That's all I got. Man, I want to I wanna go into that. But go ahead, hey, go ahead, man. go ahead. Go ahead man. Nah, bro, nah, we good. <laughs> we, we saying the same thing. It's, 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 you know, because the, the, the work of God is art, man. Mm-hmm. He's expressing himself through us if we choose to describe, inscribe, prescribe, and subscribe. We got to submit to his will completely and let him or allow him to use us mm-hmm. so that when people see what you created, mm-hmm. it will inspire them mm-hmm. to go and pursue their purpose and yep. go create something else too. Bingo. Man, that was dope. B-I-N-G-O. I like, I-N-G-O. I like that, bro. <laughs> what bingo mean? Let's break that down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm right. just kidding, man. Uh, well, hey, I, work. I, hey, Tone came with a, Tone came through with a word today. And go! <laughs> what a word today. Hey, man. Hey, that, that ministered to my heart, man. Real talk. So um, I'm good, bro. I ain't got nothing. You got uh, some? I'm good. I'm, you good? I'm good. All right, cool. Y'all be sure y'all like, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Share this information, man. Let's get this information out of here, man. And uh, we're going to take off. And uh, yeah, we out. Hit the bell. Oh, <laughs> hit the bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> I got you. Hey, I you got, got you. me, man. I'm all jacked up over here, bro. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit the bell, man. All right? We out? Yeah. All right. Peace. Up because you concerned about it. Stick and move. We can get it done. Call it unity. It ain't no way around it. Cultivating. We get motivation from the big guy. We don't play about it. Going hard for the gang. Showing love. I don't tolerate it.